What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Zoho Recruit in order to manage the applicants and the uh, for your job. So Zoho Recruit is a great platform to manage your candidates and applicants for a job that you post. So let's get right to it. First you'll need to access the Zoho Recruit website that's zoho.com slash recruit and you will open this website for Zoho Recruit. If you scroll down here you can see a bit more about the platform and its features and the uh, partners and here you can scroll down to view more features so on so um, you need to access the Zoho Recruit so you can click here to access Zoho Recruit to open it or at the top here access Zoho Recruit and you can uh, view its features and access them so let's click on access Zoho Recruit okay choose an account time to continue if you're a staffing agency or a corporate as HR for a corporate. So if you own a staffing agency that can uh, view or uh, uh, assign candidates to corporations, or if you are an HR or human resources for a certain corporate and you want to assign candidates for your corporate. So um, let's say I'm in a corporate uh, HR. So the company, how to simple, okay. And the phone number. Of course, I entered like uh, a random phone number. That's not my real phone number. However, if you are signing up, you uh, should enter your real company name and phone number. Okay, so let's click on get started for free here. It should take a moment and then open your page. And after a few moments, you will be redirected to this page. Let's click on uh, get started. Okay, and here is your uh, main dashboard. So I'm going to head and I'm uh, going to show you some uh, key features here that you can use. Here you have uh, the basic setup. You can uh, verify a company profile. You can invite users, data migration, and so on. So uh, that's for you to do it. So um, for now, let's go ahead and view uh, the platform. So you can add sample data from here. And here you have your main tabs, like here, um, the home, job openings, candidates, interviews, referrals. Uh, and here you have your account and profile settings. And here you have all these Zoho apps. So here is your uh, home screen or your uh, main dashboard. Here, of course, there are no records found uh, to view and uh, nothing to see here, no statistics and, uh, or anything because I haven't used the platform yet. But here you can view your time to fill, time to hire, your offer acceptance rates, your age job, and many more details. So the main two tabs you want to use are the job openings and the candidates. So uh, let's click on job openings first. Here you can import a job opening or you can create a new job opening or job opportunity. So let's go ahead and create a new job opening. And here you have to fill in all the details regarding the job. So the job title, let's say we want a YouTuber. Okay, number of positions, uh, there is only one position. The title for the job, technical manager, let's say a YouTube channel manager. Okay, uh, assigned recruiters, I can assign. Uh, to uh, like myself or other members of my account to uh, or like fellow recruiters from my account to uh, follow this uh, offer. The industry is um, technology. Okay. The salary, let's say it's uh, $2,000. Okay. The uh, department name, let's say media. Hiring manager, uh, I can also assign myself or uh, any colleagues date opened it's today full-time job you can also choose like a part-time so full-time part-time temporary contract and so on so work experience you can uh, determine here an experience so fresher and number of experience here required skills you can search and add skills here so uh, video like and here it'll give you like text to add so like uh, videography and so on so you get the idea here to add as many skills as you like now let's scroll down a bit to uh, 
the address job. Here, if it's a remote job, uh, that means the uh, applicant can work from home, you should uh, check this and it will uh, automatically cancel out these uh, options here. However, if the job it has like a physical location in a city, a country, you should provide the city, country, state, and zip code. However, for now, let me check a remote job. Here, you should add a job description. Um, you should, and I'll show you why in a uh, moment, you should enter a job description of 150 words or more. So uh, let's uh, type in like anything to fill in the word count. Sorry, 150 characters or more. Okay. Now, um, let's scroll down a bit. You here have the requirements, the benefits, and so on. Okay, and you can browse attachment information like job summary and others. Now, let's save the job uh, offer here. And here I have the dashboard for uh, the job. So, uh, I have here the, like it says in progress, I have the hiring pipeline. So, screening, submissions, interviews, offered, hired, and so on. So, I can click on any of them to uh, view the number of in review, qualified, junk candidates, associated, and so on. And I can customize the pipeline tags. If I scroll down, I can see more here. I can customize them. If I click on customize pipeline, here I have all these statuses, so screen, submissions, interview, offered, and so on. And I can edit any of them and delete any of them. And here I can like rearrange them if I want to. And if I click here on uh, this plus icon next to anyone, I can view the uh, stages, the different stages here. I can remove the stages and I can reorder them and so on. So uh, here I can edit the pipeline however I want. Now, uh, let's go back to the main page. Here is the uh, job opening. So the overview of the job opening and business cards, notes, attachments, and so on. So, and I can view the timeline for the job opening here. The job opening is created, was submitted, and was auto approved via approval process, okay? So um, you can view here the timeline. If we click on this button here, we can publish it to external like websites. And here you will have to enter your company name, your website, your primary uh, contact or email, your company profile, and company logo, uh, Vificon, and uh, like uh, color, brand color, portal URL, and so on. And then when you update it, your uh, job opening will be posted on sites like LinkedIn and so on. So um, here, let's take a look at like the candidates. Here in the candidates, we can view offers, we can view applications, we can view submissions. So let's view offers. Here you can create a new uh, job offer for your uh, candidates here. And if you view applications, you can view the applications that are submitted. However, none are submitted by, uh, by now. And you can view submissions the candidate uh, submitted to your client will be listed here. So your candidate submitted by the client uh, to your client, sorry, will be listed. Here. So that was like a quick overview of the Zoho uh, recruit platform and how easy it is to create job offers and manage them.